It's your movie review, man. I'm Jeff Johnson, and this is Claude Bill Cameron. Cameron. Oh. We have a very special guest. All right, Bill Cameron has been a, a, a good friend of mine, and he has an encyclopedic knowledge of movies. So I, I was I'm more really excited about him being on the show. And uh, just wanted to say welcome, Bill. Good welcome, to be Bill. here. Good to so be here. Bill, Bill, how we do here on the Movie Review Man with Jeff and Claude, we give our quick review off the top out of four power fists, what we think about the movie that we're talking about. But first, we give an intro to it. So, Claude, what's the film that we're reviewing today? All right. The film that we're reviewing is Halloween, Halloween, sorry, Halloween Ends. Uh, it is the final film, film of David Gordon Green's uh, trilogy, uh, sort of like his story, three stories that are around Laurie Strode, uh, which is connected to the original movie um, in 1978. Halloween Ends is the uh, fiery finale. It takes place four years after the events of Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills. Um, and Laurie Strode is at a point in her life, she's living with her grand. Uh, granddaughter in, in a nice house. She's trying to move past the events that has traumatized uh, her and the town of Haddonfield. But just like Michael Corleone in Godfather 3, every time she tries to leave, uh, be getting her back, you know. So uh, this leads to uh, uh, the uh, fiery, I guess, well, you could say a, a, a finale, the final showdown. Whether it's fiery or not, I don't know, but. <laughs> Fire does play a little bit of an image here, but uh, this leads to, to the, the final showdown. Yeah, everybody thinks that they can just do a trequel in the middle of a multi-sequel, mega-sequel series. So we did Halloween Kills on the show. Um, we, didn't do, we didn't do the first one. We just referred to it a lot, right? Yeah, we did. Like we did I, I went back it. and I did my research because this is totally not my genre. I understand, Bill. This no. is this is kind of your your bag. You 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 like a little you like a, a good hack and slash uh now and then. Is that right, Bill? I'm a big fan of the whole slasher genre. In fact, I don't I actually don't prefer the word slasher. I prefer shocker. shocker. Uh it has that grand guignol quality that uh that uh the, I guess the slasher. Uh, uh, sort of as a uh, descendant of, if you right. if you're familiar with the Grand Guignol of Paris, uh, the slash totally not. Oh, but okay. Claude's probably like yeah, and I'm like no, I don't, I don't watch those. But we're gonna have a full time to break down all of that in our extended review. Right now, we're giving the folks our quick take uh, on the film. Mm -hmm. There, go no go the. Four power fist rating from zero to four based off of what you liked off the top and a quick, uh, uh, um, a quick pitch for uh, your rating. So Claude, what say you? Like Claude and Claude, and I'll go first so you can get the hang of it. Claude, what do you say? All right, uh, I thought that Halloween. I I I think it's definitely going to be a divisive movie. So either you are going to really like it or you're really going to hate it. I fall on the team of, 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 of liking it. I think it had a lot of interesting things that, that are in it. Uh, I am going to, I am actually going to give it three, three power fists. Uh, it's not by any means, definitely not perfect or whatever, but, but it's, uh, I think it's a lot of, a lot of cool nuggets that are in there. But um, definitely a different feel. It's not the roller coaster ride that a lot of horror film people will like. So I know that's, you know, it's okay. But I, so I, I'm I, up I'm next. Gonna... Everybody knows I don't like this genre at all, whether it's, it's uh, uh, what well, Bill will give a whole new set of layers here of these type of films. Uh, I don't like the whole genre and all the layers that are inside of it. But I did pick uh, the, this around a Halloween series. I was intrigued by the idea of them saying that we're just going to do three and we're going to throw them right in the middle of 15 or however many Halloweens we've had so many times now. And uh, and I actually went back and watched the first one of this trilogy, Halloween, and I uh, and I enjoyed that. And then I rolled into um, Halloween Kills when it showed up on Peacock. And I didn't do my homework well enough, 
So the fans will have to get at me in uh, the comments that I can't remember what I scored last time. But I will tell you, say that I know I didn't like this one as much as either the first or the second. And so I'm going to have to give it a good, big old fat one fist. And uh, uh, I j I, there are parts of it that I like and we'll maybe unpack. Somehow it was sweeter at first, which is <laughs> not what you came to the uh, Halloween movie for. It's like, oh, oh, it's sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. And then it just got dumb. And so, um, so like you said, I think people are going to take it a bunch of different ways from a person who doesn't even like the genre at all. And I kind of like the first and second. This one was like, it went one way. And then it totally just took the crap on it. And so Halloween ends. I'm kind of like, yeah, the end. Mm -hmm. So, Bill, you've heard from the movie review, man. Out of four fists, what do you rate and what's your quick take on it? Uh, I give it one power fist. All right, you're uh, in the same camp with me. Probably different reasons, though. I hated the first two. I <laughs> I did not like them at all. Uh, I thought they were a mess, both of them. Uh, I saw Halloween Kills a uh, couple, well, yeah, a couple weeks ago, and I thought it was worse than the first one. I really hated the first one, and I, but the second one was was it was a big cluster, you know what? Uh, <laughs> can I curse on this? Uh, I, I yeah, believe, you know, yeah, yeah, just say it, just say this, it. This is adult programming, so <laughs> so so have at ye. Yeah, so, but second, if, if you hated the first one and you hated the second one. One is a pretty one. One power fist out of four is a pretty low rating. So, what, what, uh, well, what with this, this one? one, with this one, uh, in the beginning with the uh, with Corey's story, and I know we'll get into that in in depth later on. I it looked like this was going okay. This looks like it might be something different. It looks like it's going in another direction. This could be interesting, but very quickly <laughs> it just fell apart. Mm -hmm. uh too much going on with with characterizations or lack of characterizations lack of plotting i mean on the whole the writing for this series and there are four writers on this movie on this third movie four uh the writing is piss poor <laughs> it really is um it, and as you said jeffrey it, it goes in well too many directions it's not you know, goes from one direction to another, whether it's just too many different things going on. And, um, you know, whatever interesting ideas were in any of these films, especially this one, the writers just don't seem to have the skills to follow it through. So they just kill it off, literally. And in, in terms of character, yeah, I, it, it's, it's just a mess. Mm -hmm. And it's very uneven is just an understatement. Uh, you know, I mean, that's my take. It started it, at the very beginning. It looked promising, but then, whew, I mean, it just went downhill very quickly. So so who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Claude gives three fists, which is a very high rating, and you're going to want to uh, tune in for our extended review, uh, movie review men fans, to figure out what's going on. Claude said it's going to be love it or hate it. Well, he kind of, he kind of got, he, he's kind of right. He's kind of right. You had the guy who hates the whole genre all together and whose idea was to review this in the first place, gives it one and Bill, a aficionado of this that. whole artistic arena of film. Wow. He hated, hated, and then came to the third and hated some more. So come back and find out why. Uh, we will break it all the way down for you like you know we do. And we'll want to hear from you about what you thought. How many power fists would you give it from zero to four and what you thought about Halloween ends? So you've heard it from us, your movie review, man. I'm Jeff Johnson. Oh, this is Claude. Here. And our very special guest, Bill Kamen. Bill Kamen. Thanks for watching the short view. Come back for an extended review later.